This is the helpful lock picker here. The video I have for you today is on how to pick common locks. The lock we have in front of us is a deadbolt lock that contains the Quickset KW1 keyway. It is a 5 pin lock that has all standard driver pins. If you'd like a more in depth overview on how lock picking works, please check out my video number 30 and it will help you on your journey into lock picking. First I'd like to show you the key that operates the lock. It has some decent high and low bidding and that should help increase pick resistance. The first technique I'm going to show you is single pin picking. I'm going to use top of the keyway tension in 50 thousandths and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. little click on one, nothing on two, little click on three, click on four, big click off of five, and two opens us up. The next technique I'm going to show you is called rocking, where you take your L rake or your city rake you just rock up and down and it'll set multiple pins at random until the lock opens. And you just use a light bottom of the keyway tension and you just set the city rake in. You just go up and down until the lock opens up. Next we're going to try raking. We're going to use our Bogota style rake. And this is a scrubbing motion where you lift up and pull back and you just keep going until the lock is open. And we'll see what it takes to get in with this technique. And we are open. Here's a situation that can happen pretty frequently. Some locks will only want to pick open one way and be temperamental the other way. Also, this is a deadbolt lock, and in order for it to open, you need to turn it away from the door frame. And if this is opened up to the wrong direction, you can remedy the situation by using a plug spinner. You just need to line it up with the lock, turn the plug spinner the appropriate way to adjust the spring tension, and then you hit the button and it will spin it to the opposite side and now you have an open on your lock. Next I'd like to show you an example of a bump key. This is a bump key for a quick set lock. It is cut down to its lowest depth and a bump key will be used as a kinetic attack. You will hit it with your bump hammer or a screwdriver and it will shoot all the driver pins above shear and in that split second it will allow the plug to turn over. Now we're going to see what it takes to get into the lock with the bump key. You're going to insert the bump key all the way and pull it out one click. You're going to turn the bump key either to the left or to the right depending on the way you want to open the lock then you'll hit it with the hammer and now you are open. As a quick recap, we have now gone over various methods to open up pin tumbler locks that you can commonly find. We did single pin picking, rocking, raking, and bumping. These are all very effective techniques to getting open locks that are commonly found without security pins. But one way to thwart these attacks is to add security pins to your lock. I'm going to show you an example of some security pins now. If you look in where number one is, that is a serrated driver pin. That can get very caught up in the shear line and cause a lot of difficulty for people to set. And number two is a spool pin. Those can cause false sets and a lot of counter rotation and cause you to drop all the pins you have tried to set while opening the lock. And in three is an example of a regular standard driver pin. Now that we got this lock open, let's try to get it open by raking and bumping. 
The security pens do a really great job at thwarting non-skilled attacks, such as raking and bumping, and we will probably be able to rake to a false set, but not get an open, and we may even be able to bump to a false set, but most likely won't get an open as well. Okay, we're not going to get that open, and now we're going to try bumping it quickly. I'm going to put it in, keyway, pull it out one notch. And we're not getting it open. Now, I would like to try to get this lock open with single pin picking. Single pin picking is the most reliable method, and it can get open any pin tumbler lock. This lock is populated with serrated pins and spool pins in all five of the driver pin chambers. I'm going to use this 50 thousandths top of the keyway and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Nothing on one. Couple clicks off of two. Click off a 3 and some core rotation. Click off a 4 with a little counter rotation. 5 put us in a good false set. Just getting a lot of counter rotation on 5 and that opened us up. And this is an example of how security pens can keep out the low skill attacks. They were able to stop raking and bumping in this case, and they often do a very good job at that. However, if you're proficient at single pin picking and very familiar with security pins, security pins often will not keep you out. In my honest opinion, I think they can sometimes make single pin picking easier because of the heightened feedback that they provide the picker. As a quick recap, the video you've watched today is on how to open common locks we have covered single pin picking, rocking, raking, and bumping. Also, we showed you how security pens can help thwart the low skilled attacks while single pin picking, if you're proficient at it, you can still get through security pens quite easily. If you guys have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me make, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Thank you.